we've always wanted to do a set using recycled items. And so this past year and a half or so, we've been collecting these the items you see on the stage. The bottle caps, the pop can tops, the lids. The best way to do it to make it look really vibrant is the coral reef. Why did we choose Ernie for the ship's name? We had a crab named Ernie, and we figured we would name our boat after the crab. The brightest and the smartest engineers are continuing the quest to find a renewable resource. Off the shores of North Carolina, rare and exotic algae is being harvested for biofuel. Unfortunately, the ocean is in great danger. As if this trend continues, the amount of plastic will outweigh the mass of fish by 2050. We were going off to Discovery, and we actually found pictures of our own crab. And the majority of the pictures, he was actually decorating himself not with natural ocean things, he was decorating himself with trash. Hey, is this the decorator crab you've been tracking? Yeah. His name is Ernie, and I've been tracking him for two, uh, around two years. The biggest part of this challenge we've had to overcome, probably uh, getting the crab to work, which has never worked fully. <laughs> it worked for the judges, but it never worked like on stage. This team has always been a team of really good improvers. So if they get on stage and they forget a line, they just make it up. Every performance, they do something I've never seen before or heard before because they just roll with whatever happens. DI, it's a very big social thing as you are working together constantly. You have to figure out what a person's strengths is, what their weaknesses is, and how to play to that. You kind of get to know a person, not just as friends, you get to know a person by their work ethic and how they really process and go through things.